What's happening, fellas? I'm, I'm definitely a little jaded. We're outside of the New England Motorcycle Museum here where there's over 400 world-class motorcycles, both new and old. So it's hard for me to get real excited about a bike, but the minute I saw this bike right here from Justin Smith, I was like, oh my God, Justin's a collector that has uh, attention to detail second to none. When you see the documentation that comes with this bike, and if you take a real close look, I'm gonna say, this is, if this isn't the finest GPZ 1100 in the country, it's definitely on the podium as one of the finest. The paint on it is stunning. The fit and finish is stunning. Electrically, mechanically, and cosmetically, this bike is a 10. And it's got some stuff that you just won't see uh, on most GPCs, like these European engine case covers right here. These are from overseas. They have the GPZ Kawasaki logo on there. Justin's the kind of guy that would do the research and figure out that those were available. Come around this side, you'll see he's got the same thing on this side of the engine too. These are from the European GPZ uh, labeled side covers. It's got heated Kawasaki grips on it. 100% original exhaust, suspension, all the running gear. Guys, this has the ZZR engine, the most powerful 1100 motor Kawasaki had made up to that point. It's an absolute freaking rocket ship. I'll pull the spec chart out to go over with you in a second. But take a close look at this. Look at the wheels. Look at the forks. Look at the fairing. Guys, this, this ZZR-powered monster, and make no mistake, it is, it is an absolute rocket ship, has been set up. For, uh, the GPC was a sport touring model. So unlike the Hayabusa's or the ZZR's, they had the low bars. The bars are nice and comfortable. They've got about a three-inch rise on them. The seat-to-foot peg relationship is comfortable. It's got a big six-gallon tank, so you can ride it all day long. And it's got long legs, six-speed transmission, overdrive transmission. This thing will zoom down the highway 100 miles an hour all day long without even breaking a sweat. Absolutely beautiful piece. Now, i got to show you something else. Come here. Come here, guys. Check this out. The, Justin is one of the few collectors that I know that, that has a, this type of provenance on a motorcycle, starting with the original. This is the Kawasaki 1995 full model lineup spec sheet here. But of course, the ZZR in here. We've got the, um, the online printout, the spec sheet. I've got the GPZ motorcycle owner's manual. I've got the Kawasaki GPZ keychain, never even used, still in the bag. We've got the Japanese manual, of course, um, which has Japanese and American part numbers in it. We've got the motorcycle service manual from Kawasaki. We have the actual GPZ 1100 factory colored brochure with the, uh, this exact bike in there, of course. So full provenance. He's got the, the GPZ 1100 service manual. He's got the Kawasaki motorcycle accessories, 1995 catalog, that all accessories are on this bike. You'll see what come up in there. Uh, he also has the rider on the cover, still sealed GPZ 1100 article. You can read about it. Uh, the Cycle World printout with the GPZ 1100 on the front cover and the motorcyclist GPZ 1100 on the front cover. Guys, full document, full provenance. I've got the previous registration. I've got extra GPZ uh, decals. He even has the parts fiche from Kawasaki with every part number you can possibly get on it. And the 1995 full street catalog featuring the GPZ 1100. Also the Hall of Fame inductee uh, package with the GPZ 1100 1995 in there. Um, and then tons of documentation on the bike receipts for um, the front mud guard extension that it has on it on the front fender. This is for the saddlebag mounting kit, that, that uh, GPZ Kawasaki saddlebag mounting kit. That was an option. We've got previous registrations, the, the tax papers, the insurance cards, all kinds of documentation. Guys, full provenance on what is, in my opinion, the nicest GPZ 1100 um, in New England, definitely. And it might be the, the, one of the finest in the United States of America. It's that nice. Justin's just an absolute freak when it comes to motorcycle maintenance. We, um, he sold quite a bit of his collection to us over the last couple years. He's been downsizing uh, his facilities. He had a, a few different facilities he stored his bikes at, and it was costing him so much to, to maintain the, the, the storage, he just let it go. So back to the, uh, it also comes with his GPZ 1100 saddlebags. He bought these online. They're not perfect. They got a couple uh, nicks in them, uh, but you can, you can see these mount. These are the quick detached saddlebags. Um, these come with it, obviously. Uh, these are very easy to mount. They just, I've, I've never even mounted them before. And that's it, you just, just pop them on like that. Very simple, very easy. One per side. 
Actually, this is this is the right side for that one right there. So, if you want to put the bags on and go sport touring, the bags are included. So back to the bike. The bike is absolutely freaking immaculate. It was a two-year model, 95 and 96. Um, four-stroke transverse, four-cylinder, double overhead cam, four-valve per cylinder. Absolute rocket chip, liquid-cooled, 10.1 compression ratio. It's running 1040 oil, has four 36-millimeter Kian CVK 36 carbs. Um, let me grab my mic. Sorry about that, guys. I left my mic over there. Uh, I don't know if you caught all that. But anyways, um, 129 horsepower is what it's rated for. Again, this is a ZZR. The engine is a serious super bike engine. 5.8 gallons on the gas tank. 11 second quarter mile. Guys, this is a sport touring bike that does 11 second quarter mile. And the top speed's 158 miles an hour. You can get, uh, you can get places fast with this, that's for sure. So let me be clear if I haven't already uh, made it perfectly obvious this thing is an absolute freaking dime piece no excuse electrically mechanically and cosmetically this bike's a 10 um when we got it from justin it had been in his private collection and he, he rode it regularly but um we bought it in and we bought it right through the service department and i have the work order on it right here i can go over that with you um the uh the bike didn't need much because it's an absolute dime right so but i'll tell you what we did the uh I just dropped it, of course, like a bozo. Let me see. You can see the gauges, everything's mint on this thing. Um, Jimmy, one of our lead ATEX here, uh, drained the fuel and put ethanol-free fuel in it just to make sure there wouldn't be any issues with, with uh, bad fuel. So um, drained the carb bowls, uh, put two gallons of the VP94 in it, adjusted the drive chain, set the tire, PSI, checked all electrical functions, verified the, the charging on the battery, topped off the coolant, overflow reservoir, bought it for a test ride, warmed it up, came back, drained the oil, and put Belray MC4 engine oil in it with a new high flow filtro oil filter and gave it a 100, 100 point check over and it uh, passed with flying colors as I, as I knew it would. So um, $95 worth of parts and uh, four hours labor with Jimmy. And then I went down to detail shop and Ryan gave it a full Monty detail, top to bottom. It was steam cleaned, hand washed, polished wax. They put the new coat uh, paint protector on there and uh, just gave it a full Monty from the bottom of the center stand to the top of the handlebars. I spent five hours detailing it, polishing, waxing it. So the work order bottom line came to nine hours labor plus parts was 1292 with tax out the door. She's ready to go guys. If you're looking for the, the finest GPZ 1100 sport touring bike uh, that's for sale in the United States of America, well, your ship just came in. This would make an awesome Christmas present for yourself or for somebody you want to uh, give the gift that keeps giving, uh, just a world-class machine. Tons of uh, articles online. You'll get the magazine test. All literature I showed you comes with the bike. It needs nothing. It's ready to go. If you have any questions, give us a call. 860-454-7024. We offer uh, financing on classics through Freedom Road, and we can ship this bike anywhere in the country for you. Thanks for watching. God bless America. Not many left in the world this nice. This thing's a dime.